Hello everyone, and welcome to Game Break, a full coverage writer's presentation where we look to either encourage, inspire, or distract you all from your daily creative endeavors. Will is here, bringing you another adventure into the Stanley Parables. I've been playing through myself on my own and discovered that there are a lot of possible different pathways and endings to this game. We're going to see about exploring another path and hopefully Stanley will have a better end than last time. If you haven't seen last time, check out my previous video wherein Stanley had his first adventure through his own parables. And the, uh... Interesting, quirky, and not-so-pleasant ending to that. I've already skipped the intro here, since I'm pretty sure we've all seen it before. Let's begin! All of his co-workers were gone. Yep. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, Stanley. Always missing those memos. Too busy pushing all those buttons, as instructed. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Not today, he didn't. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes. Needs more furniture. We're going to move on. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. This way leads back to the main path, with some slight deviations, but I'm going this way. I played through once before and continued to deviate from the narrator and gets a... A very interesting ending. I won't specify what happened. I'll leave that to your own adventures if any of you are playing the Stanley Parable. There's quite the interesting ending if you disobey the narrator. But for now, we're going to go through here and see how things progress down a path I've never taken before. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Hey, I pushed all those buttons exactly as intended. Warning, do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for cumping, uh, jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. And death. I went through this before and I didn't jump. I don't know if you can jump all the way down there and survive. But I did jump onto that walkway. This time, let's see where this takes me. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh? Someone you've forgotten about. I did? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her. Her? Who's her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Well, this, unless I can open this door, which I probably can't. Yeah. Looks like I only have one way to go, other than to fall to my death. Or possibly ride the cargo lift again. But yeah, let's go forward. Let's see who her is. Her? What does company do, aside from brainwashing, that required all of this stuff? Oh, it's dark in there. Hello? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Hold 
on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Get your day on. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I can't I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Let me move. Let me go this way. Sorry, oh. but you're in my story now. Uh-oh. I really made him mad. I didn't like the mannequins. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? What? No. Press T on your keyboard. Uh... Okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. Hey. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Hey! F. Mm -hmm. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. X. Okay. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Hmm. Press I to watch TV? And so he began I to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Wait, what? That wasn't in a dream. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Where are the boys? It said six to prepare dinner. Oh, it can't be the number pad six, fine. As he wandered but through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. This is so meta. Please press you to tell your kids a story. What kids? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press O to tell your wife that you love her. The mannequin? But there is no ah. answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. So when do we reset? And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Oh, but he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Be at work in the morning? That means if I don't push it. But I'm listening, narrator. I'm not pushing the button. Stanley will not push the button. If I push G, I'm willing to bet it'll reset. What if I wait long enough?
probably nothing. This is probably preset so that this is the end and I have to push the button and start the game over again and prove the narrator right by disobeying him. How meta is that? I have to prove him right by disobeying him. What if I push a different key? No. 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 Gah! No! Stanley want freedom! Stanley want mannequin wife back! Stanley want coffee break! Uh, Stanley want Minecraft. Okay, here we go. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press E to question nothing. This is a different office. Is it? Or maybe it's the same office, it's just the door's closed. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Oh. And I died. Eh, looks like that was it. So much for, uh, oh yeah, it is the same office. Okay, so, so much for me not letting Stanley die. Ugh, poor Stanley. Well, at least he wasn't pancaked this time. I apparently just pushed buttons locked in a room until I died. But at least they asked me nicely to die. It was the polite thing to do, after all. Well... All right, that was yet another playthrough of the Stanley Parable, one of who knows how many endings are in this game. I've only seen a couple myself. Hope you all enjoyed it and were inspired and or properly distracted from your own creative endeavors. This is Will signing off from Full Coverage Writers and Game Break. Hope you have a all a wonderful and creative day and all your creative inventors endeavors, excuse me, pan out to the best of their abilities, and until then, get writing already!